Hello, my friend. I wish you a very happy weekend. Let me quote a Bible verse and explain it to you. Ephesians 5, verse 8. For once you were in darkness, but now in the Lord you are light. Now, that has some powerful, powerful meanings here. First of all, we've all been in darkness, and we've all felt that darkness where inside of us. But now in the Lord, when you have a spiritual experience, when you know that God is with you, God is within you, you are light. Now, not you are within the light, you become the light of God. It shines in every recess of the darkness that was formerly in your mind. Greet each day with a joy and expectancy, and know this truth about you. You are a beloved child of God. When you know that, I mean really know that, beyond hearing the words, it equips you in a spiritual way. Say that when you need to say it. I am a beloved child of God. I am a beloved child of God. Knowing this is true, you can't help but be an example of joy and serenity to yourself when you look at yourself in the mirror, but also to everyone that you meet. You are going to be a divine light in expression. Wherever you go, God will illumine you inside of yourself. God will give you profound new ideas, and you will be reflecting these and reflecting this wisdom to others. You are going to be imbued with the life and the Spirit of God, and it will take away all darkness. It will equip you as the light. And wherever you go, you'll have the assurance of knowing that you live every moment, not just some moments, every moment, in the light of God. And with God as your source, you will know that you have a source of love coming through you for yourself, because you are a beloved child of God, but also you will be equipped as a beloved child of God. And you'll put forth that expression of love to everyone in your life. You'll be able to express a new patience and a new understanding for everyone. And with God as love inside of you, with God as light inside of you, with God as life inside of you, you will be a living expression of God that will give you a new sacred purpose, a new sacred meaning, and fulfilling to all areas of your life. This is what I pray for you today to become manifest in you as you.